I got them. Hi everybody and welcome back to Noisy Works. I'm your host Eve, and uh, we're gonna talk about thermal pads. So the frequently asked question was what kind of thermal pads fits into this laptop? And that's what we're gonna find out. So I bought a huge uh, lot of the Adwitz thermal pads and they come in a variety of uh, thicknesses. I think they sell them on Amazon and all the thicknesses from uh, half a mil to two mil, I think. So I bought them all. Let's open it up and uh, have a look at what kinds of thermal pads you will need for this laptop. For disassembly of this laptop, I already have a video, so I will link it in the description below. So uh, a quick recap of the disassembly. We have a few screws over here. We have one hidden under this rubber flap. Let's remove them all. So we have the shorter screws on the bottom, the longer ones on top, and I already lost one. I think this is what you get when you disassemble it a lot, but I don't care. So to open it, use a flat one, and you can pull this one off. You can uh, remove the hard drive by uh, pulling this one out like this now we got the cover off we still have a few right over here here and I thought yes a third one over there so let's do that voila it needed some persuasion just be a bit careful you can put that aside all right, so the thermal pads, they are all behind the heating, this thing. I like to work on a laptop without the battery connected, just so you wouldn't short any vital components out. So let's do that. Just these two taps, pull on it like that, and you're safe to work. Next, to remove the heatsink, we got a buttload of screws. The little ones up here is to clean out the fans. That's not what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna remove the heatsink itself with all these screws. If you want a more detailed view, there's a video in the link down below. These three don't come out, just unscrew them. These two don't come out. Now we have uh, two choices. We can just lift it up. Forgot this one. You can just lift it up and scoop it aside. There's one hidden over here. Very important that you don't yank on it, otherwise it will end in tears. Like that. All right. So we got our thermal pads. So the paste still looks very good. It's uh, soft to the touch, not hardened out. We clean it up later. And the thermal pads are still uh, mushy, so they didn't dry out.
Conclusion time! Is it worth to replace your thermal pads? Short answer, no. Unless you tear them when you replace your uh, CPU and GPU, there's really no point in replacing the pads. They are all still moist after 3 years of use and the temperatures that you uh, gain on your chipset and stuff is 1 or 2 degrees. So really no point in buying those pads. All right, this is gonna be it for the thermal pads. I got uh, quite a few uh, fun things coming up for next year. I'm here in my kitchen. <laughs> here in the back is my uh, yeah workshop. It isn't, it's just in my living room. So uh, right behind me, we're going to build a real workshop where we can do some uh, real uh, projects. And uh, yeah, I hope you tackle on. Maybe subscribe to the channel. And guys, I see you in the next one. <laughs>